afternoon, Yellow Tim, and welcome back to more children's Torah stories. Today's story is called King Shaul Visits the Witch. Because if you remember what happened last time, the Plishtim came together and they said, we are making a big giant army. We are going to go and fight the Jewish people. And David said, I will help you, Plishtim. But he was really tricking them. He was not going to help them. He was actually going to sneak along with them and then help the Jewish people. That was his plan. But uh, they flished him said, I said, chap, we'll think about it. I will decide if you can come along, David, and then we will let you know. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, Shaul was getting worried. Because there were so many pledged them coming. And they were all ready to fight, fight. And so King Shaul said, oh no, I don't know what's going to happen. And I'm not sure what to do. Who should I go and ask what to do? In the olden days, I would always go to ask Shmuel. And I would say, Shmuel... Should I fight? Should I run away? What should we do? And Shmuel would say, I will go and ask Hashem. And he would ask Hashem and Hashem would tell him. But now Shmuel has died. I don't know who to ask. Who can he ask, Yeladim? Um, why don't I ask the Kohanim? Because the Kohen Gadol has got a special thing that he wears on his chest called the Choshen Mishpat. Can you say that, Yeladim? Choshen Mishpat. That's what he had. Now, one, uh, no, just Choshen Mishpat. One of the things that was special, there were many things that were special about the Choshen Mishpat. It was so beautiful to Hashem. It had 12 different jewels. And each of the different jewels had a name of the different tribe of the Jewish people. Oh, mwah, bellissimo. It was so beautiful. But it also had something so special that a Kohen Gadol could ask Hashem questions and Hashem would tell him the answer. And so if he were, king wanted to know, should we go fight the Plishtim or not? He could go ask the Kohen Gadol, and the Kohen Gadol would look at his breastplate, and he would what get the, the answer. Uh, this one is the Matzah man. He would get the answer from Hashem, and then he would say, King Shaul, Hashem says yes, or King Shaul, Hashem says no. That's what would normally happen. But King Shaul's in real trouble. There's no Shmuel, because Shmuel died. And remember, he got Doeg to go and chase away the Kwanim. And only one of them managed to escape. And he went to David. So he's not with Shaul anymore. So Shaul's thinking, who, oh, who can I ask? I've got an idea. Why don't I go to a witch? And I will say to the witch, Witchy, witchy, with your magic, please do something very tragic. Bring up Shmuel from beyond the grave, so I can ask him like a knave. That is a way of saying, do something very bad. Go and speak to Shmuel even after he died. That's what Shaul decides to do. What does Hashem think about doing that kind of thing, Yeladim? Is that great to go and speak to people after they've died or not so good? I don't see how to vote. Well, I'll tell you what I mean. If there's somebody that you loved who died, it's okay to still talk to them. Maybe it's like 
a grandparent or an auntie or a friend and you can say to them, I miss you and I wish that you were here to tell me what I should do or to watch the sunset together. Things like that are fine to say. But imagine going to a witch who says, I will make magic to make their neshama come back here and then you can have a conversation. No, no, that is not a good idea. Why isn't it a good idea? Well, Hashem says definitely don't do it. Maybe it's not a good idea because it's a bad thing to do. If the neshama is with Hashem or the neshama is busy getting used to the new situation and then you just pull it back. Sorry, you have to come back to earth to talk to people. That's not very good. That's maybe one reason why I actually think it's a different reason. The reason I think is because it's all made up. There's no such thing as magic. It's just trickety tricks. What do you think? Trickety tricks, is that a good idea? No, no. We do not want people going around doing trickety tricks. And it's not even possible to bring the Nashama back to come to talk to people. The Nashama is with Hashem and everything. But once the person has passed away, once the person's out, we can't talk to them anymore. But there are people like witches who will pretend. <laughs> I have the power to make the Nashama come back. I can make you talk to somebody who has died already. All you have to do is pay me lots of money. <laughs> well, Hashem says, no way, don't do that. But King Shaul was feeling so nervous and he was feeling so scared about what was going to happen. So King Shaul said, I will go to the witch. I will go secretly. I will go privately. I won't let anybody know. But I have to go because I need to speak to Shmuel. See, Shaul did believe, ah, witch is attacking me. Ah. Shamuel did believe, Shaul did believe mwah, that the witch could bring Shmuel back. So that's why he thought that that was what he needed to do. There's one more thing that makes this tricky. This was a very tricky story. The other thing that makes this tricky is that Shaul chased away almost all the witches. He chased away almost all the witches. What? No, it's for now it's King Shaul. It can be different people, different days. Okay. King Shaul chased away almost all the witches from the whole land of Israel because he knows that Hashem doesn't like witches and Hashem says no witches allowed. So King Shaul went chase away, chase away, chase away until there was almost no witches left, which is actually a good thing. But now King Shaul says, I do want to go and see a witch. I do want to go and see a witch. Where can I find one? And he said to his friends, Who can tell me where I will find a witch? And one of his friends says, I will tell you. There is a witch at a place called Aindor. And if you go there... She will be able to help you talk to Shmuel. Ah, okay. I will disguise myself so that nobody knows. And off he went to talk to the witch. And then he went to the dark forest. And in the dark forest, he went to a dark cave. And near the dark cave was a dark hat. And on the dark hat was a dark door. And on the dark door, he knocked with a dark knock. And he heard a voice say, Who is it? Uh, it's Bob. 
His name's not really Bob, but he doesn't want him to know it's King Shaul. Um, I'm Bob. Uh, please, can I come and see the witch? 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 I don't know what you're talking about. There's no witch here. Witches are not allowed. Well, can we talk anyway? Okay. She opened the creaky door. The dark creaky door. And then he came to the dark house. Why do you think there's a witch? Don't you know? King Shaul chased all the witches away. If anybody were to think that I am a witch, maybe I would go to jail. Oh, don't worry. I will keep this a secret. I won't tell King Shaul. Oh, okay. It is King Shaul, but he was pretending to be someone else. So he told the witch it's okay. I won't tell King Shaul. That's what he said. That's what he said. Oh, okay. If you won't tell King Shaul, then I will do my magic for you. Have you got lots of money for me? Okay. Have you got lots of money? Yes, I do. He has lots of money. <laughs> Yay! I mean, okay, thank you. Uh, okay, what magic do you want me to do? I want you to make the Neshama of Shmuel Hanavi come back and talk to me. Ah, you want me to pretend? I mean, I mean, you want me to for real? Bring back Shmuel Shmuel. No problem. Hocus pocus, gobbledygook. I am making a pretend spook. Shmuel Hanavi, it's time to come back. And if you don't, I'll give you a smack. And then Shaul heard a voice. Shaul? Shaul, is that you? Yes. Yes, it's me. Why did you call me back? Back, back, back. Shmuel! Shmuel, is that you? Yes, it's me, 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 me. But it wasn't. Shmuel, I really need your help and advice. I don't know what to do. The Pelishtim have all come, and there's so many of them, and it's so scary, and I couldn't ask anybody else. What do I do? Well, Shaul, 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 Shaul. <laughs> you have a difficult that. choice, choice, <laughs> choice. If you go and fight the Plishtim tomorrow, the Jewish people will be okay, but you <coughs> will die, die, die. If you run away, you will live, but the Jewish people will be in trouble, trouble, trouble. <gasps> what do you think Shaul should do, Yeladim? Should Shaul go and fight and save the Jewish people, even though he knows he will die? Or should he run away and live, even though that means the Jewish people won't make it? What do you think Shaul's going to do? Do you think he's going to fight? Even though that means he's going to die, or do you think he's going to run away? Show me a thumbs up if you think he's going to fight, or a thumbs down if you think he's going to run away. Daddy, you always give thumbs up for the right answer. You are, no, not always, but you are correct, Jeladim. I see the thumbs up. Well, except for the thumbs down, that isn't correct, I'm afraid. But the thumbs up is correct. Shaul was really such a brave man, even right at the end. After everything that had happened and he'd been so sick and got cross and angry and all those kinds of things, at the end of it all, he wanted to do the right thing. And he said, I will save the Jewish people, even though that will be so sad for me. And that was what he decided. But Shmuel said something, one last thing, one last thing to him before he left the witch. Shmuel said... Tomorrow, 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 you will be with me, with me, with me. And what that means, Yeladim, 
doesn't only mean that tomorrow Shaul will also die and his Neshama will go to Hashem. What it also means is just as Shmuel is so good and Hashem loves him so much, Shaul is also going to be so good and Hashem is also going to love him so much. So even though Shaul had this sickness and he did some really bad things and he made some bad mistakes, but still, at the end, he put the Jewish people first. He said, I'm their king to help them. And that is what I'm going to do. So King Shaul, we give you a pat on the head and we say thank you for making the right decision. But if you want to hear... Well, Shmuel didn't... If you ask me... That's fine, I'm sorry. You can play with the market still. If you ask me, Shmuel didn't really come from heaven. And it was the witch tricking. But we can discuss that more a little bit later. But what is going to happen with the battle? Is David going to be able to fight? Are the Pelishtim going to chase the Jewish people away? What will happen to Shaul? And what will happen to Prince Yonatan? All that and more in the next exciting episode of Children's Torah.